Hey, what's up guys? Ken here from the Retro Toyska Beats channel. I hope that everyone's doing good out there. Now, this is a shipment lot of the complete run of Mars comics that were published in the United Kingdom in the 1980s. I got this off an auction lot on eBay before the entire planet went into shutdown mode. And I gotta say that the bidding on this was pretty frenzied. But it was probably a once in a lifetime chance to get the entire lot in one go. So I'm sure excited to get into the shipment and share with you guys. So let's get to it. Okay, there's 80 issues in the entire run. Now for this video, I'm going to be looking at all the covers for the first 40 issues and do the remaining 40 in the next one. And then I'm going to be reviewing each of these issues separately so we get to check out all the good stuff inside together. Okay, first up, we have the first ever debut issue. I can't believe I'm actually having this now in my hands. Published for the first time ever in September 1988. And with every issue after that coming out once every two weeks. Uh, issue 2. The cover has a lot of mask mayhem in various angles and switchblade at the corner. Plus the offer of a free Viper mask. Yeah. Now you know the one thing that you'll notice about the Mars UK comics is that they really push the silly factor in the books. In many ways, just like the cartoon. Okay, issue 3, and wow, we get the rampaging rhino on the cover. By the way, I just wanted to point out that uh, all the covers have a wraparound image. Now, I'll go over these in detail in the individual book reviews, but you can see just how much work they put into this. Issue 4, I like the layout of this cover, the Thunderhawk in action, and there's no silly word balloons floating about. Alright, issue 5. Uh, this seems to be the Christmas issue. I'm not sure what's really going on here with the cover. It seems like the Venom agents are feeling the holiday spirit. Issue 6. There's a new character they're debuting here. Now it looks like a Japanese sumo wrestler called Kamikaze. You see him falling out of the sky and the blurb says, Kamikaze drops in. Get it? <laughs> issue 7. This is pretty wild. T-Bob meets the Frankenstein monster? I can't wait to review this one. Okay, issue 8. Here's a solid portrait of the Thunderhawk. And one of those rare moments where you get a clean cover without any announcements. Just gorgeous. How many likes for this one? Okay, issue 9. This is super busy. Miles and Matt are just talking and talking. There seems to be more dialogue on the cover than maybe inside the book. Okay, issue 10. Wow, this is a great close-up of the vampire. Again, no dialogue balloons. Just the vehicle in action. Fantastic. Issue 11, Switchblade in action. Okay, issue 12, we've got Slyrex on the cover and something going on in London in the background. I guess this being a UK comic, a lot of the stories must take place there too. Okay, issue 13, wow, great close-up of Switchblade and the Venom agents. I could just frame this, man. Now, what do you guys think? Issue 14, okay, we've got T-Bob on the cover, so you already know things can't be too serious. Now, I know T-Bob probably has his fans, but I honestly can't stand him. Issue 15, and wow, this cover is promoting this great free massive poster that you get with this issue. What a time to be alive if you're a Mars fan, right? Issue 16, and we've got Vampire Driver Floyd Malloy versus Firefly Driver Julio Lopez. This looks good, man. Here's issue 17, and a solid close-up of the Piranha. Okay, issue 18, Cliff Dagger and Slyrex are hanging off this great illustration of the Switchblade. Issue 19, uh, there's a maximum amount of Miles Mayhem on the cover. Issue 20, a front view shot of the jackhammer blasting away. Issue 21, wow, this is a great Matt Tracker solo cover. Issue 22, hmm, is this what fans wanted to see? Miles Mayhem hugging a teddy bear to sleep? What's going on?
Okay, issue 23. <laughs> this is a really goofy looking shot of Scott Tracker riding T-Bob. Just look at that face, man. <laughs> yeah. Okay, issue 24. First hurricane cover. Now, I got a soft spot for hurricane for sure. Because it was my first and only mass toy as a kid. Okay, issue 25. There's like a hundred dialogue balloons here. This is another one of those joke covers. Wow. Okay, issue 26. There's an offer for free mass chuba. They had those? Okay, issue 27. There's an announcement that the series is now weekly. Damn, it must have been doing so well. Okay, issue 28. Gosh, there's just so much text again on the cover. Issue 29. More characters talking on the cover. Now, can't they save that for the inside? Okay, whoa. <laughs> issue 30. There's a close-up shot of Matt Tracker in his Ultra Flash mask. I don't know, man. You know, it looks really chubby here. <laughs> Issue 31, everyone's talking, but this is a good portrait of the mass agents together. Issue 32, there's a victory chart here showing the victories mass has scored against Venom. But seriously man, I didn't even know there was even a time that Venom actually won. Did you see the cartoon? Okay, just looking at it, issue 33, you know, you know it's a joke cover. Yikes! Issue 34, and it's a solo T-Bob cover. Okay, issue 35. Miles is talking in the mirror. But the cool thing is, he's in his outlaw vehicle uniform. So that's new. Okay, issue 36. Uh, Venom agents cracking jokes on the cover. Issue 37. Miles in a Santa outfit. They're really pushing the silly factor. Issue 38. Still in the holiday spirit. All the Venom agents are on Christmas vacation? Seems like it. Okay, issue 39. You know, most of the issues keep talking about the TV series connection. I'm guessing Mars was bigger than He-Man in the UK. Issue 40. Hey, you know, I realized that almost all the issues in this batch have the original owner's address and name. Daniel Tyson. This must have been his subscription. Wow, you know what? It must have been great having these growing up. Well, don't worry, man. Your childhood collection is in good hands. Okay, how are you guys holding up? We're going to take a break now, but we'll be back again later in the week with part two of the remaining 40 books. And hey, let me know your thoughts on the video and if you guys collected these when you were growing up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We need your support to keep this thing going. Thanks, man. And I'll catch you guys again real soon.